this is a relatively new tool I purchased. It's, it's the uh, Amphenol wire insertion tool for basically RJ21 style uh, 50 conductor, 25 pair telephone connectors. Used on a number of PBXs and key systems for connection of telephone lines and other wiring. Uh, reason I bought this is because somewhat over a year ago I rescued some 25 pair cable out of the building and so I started looking into uh, how to put connectors on the ends that were missing them and how you know how expensive the tool was how much the connectors cost how much 25 pair raw cable cost so after researching all that I decided okay I'm gonna go ahead and buy the tool buy a pile of connectors uh, I found some 25 pair cable about half a spool uh, locally for a pretty good price so decided to go that route and put the money in and buy the tool and all that so I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate this in this video so I have a pigtail with one end cut that I had found that I had rescued I'll say um, it's already got a female connector on one end I've already prepared the other end and made sure it's should be kind of stripped long enough. So I'll open up the tool here. Flip down this part, which will hold the connector. It flips out of the way. And there's a spring clamp here. You undo place the cable into it, reclamp it and it holds it there while you're working with the wires. So from there I'm going to flip these legends around to the male side for putting on a male connector and it gives you the 25 pair color code here and on pin 26 through 50 uh, I believe you that's all the tips which are major minor pairs and then on the other side here we've got 1 through 25 which will be all the rings which are minor major pairs so over here you'll have say blue white orange white green white brown white slate white blue red orange red green red brown red slate red so on on the other side you'll have the opposite white blue white orange white green white brown white uh, white slate red blue red orange red green so on and so forth um, I'm no expert on this tool you know I've only had it a couple weeks here uh, I've made one other connector with it I think it's probably better if you start uh, from the inside and work your way out you gotta make sure also that your wires are cut long enough here for example my wires are probably not quite cut long enough so I'll have to correct that I'll just strip a little more off the jack here don't think I've really found a good way to strip the jacket on cables like these other than just trying to carefully slice through it without nicking the insulation on the individual wires anybody's got a better method I guess I'd like to hear it might go better if I had some small wire cutters and you kinda of get in between the jacket and the uh, wires without nicking the wires so long as I'm careful here careful not to cut myself careful not to nick the wires on the cable should go okay and there's a binder ribbon in here on cables more than 25 pairs you have these binder groups despite this cable only being 25 pair it actually has a white binder ribbon in here I'm not sure I guess they've just 
being consistent, but so we can cut that out of the way anyway. Uh, so now all these pairs should be long enough to reach out to the outermost spot here in these wire comms. So like I said, we'll start from the inside. So I'm looking for the blue-white pair, which is here. Kind of keep that as a pair. So on the left side, we've got all the tips. We want blue white, and on the right side, where all the rings are at. I'm sorry, the other way around. The right side are the tips, and the left side are the rings. In this case, so we want blue white over here and white blue over here. Kind of pull these so that they don't move. And you just go through all the rest of the pairs. The next is uh, white orange and orange white. I think I see it in there. This is going to take a while. I'm sure I'll speed through it in the editing. Slate, slate violet. Okay, so at this point, you probably want to go through each side, make sure you've got all your wires in order. So, real quick okay, white, blue, white, orange, white, green, white. All looks good at this point. I'm going to put the connector in. So we've got pin one here, should be towards pin one on the labeling. And then you have to loosen. Yeah, push it in all the way. The clamp that holds it here. So holds it in place. Flip this up into position. Kind of close jaws here. Now the wires are not pushed into the connector yet. We're not ready to do that anyway because basically you have to pull all the wires tight in here, which for one thing, we want to make sure that our cable is pushed up close to the connector so that we can get a good strain relief on it. Another good tip, actually, if you can, is uh, to pull the jacket back some, which I should have done before I put it in the... Right? should have done that before I put it in the tool. That will allow you, then, when the cable is complete that you can pull the jacket on the cable uh, back toward back away from the uh, back towards the connector basically uh, you want to pull these wires right you want to pull the excess out of them without getting them out of the the wire comb either. So
at this point, you better be sure all your wires are in there right. So, this is the step, there's no going back. Bring the two handles up. Pushes the wires into the connector and cuts them all. And uh, at that point, the connector is assembled onto the cable. Steps here are to add the hood, strain relief, should be a screw. So this slides on. Like this. Kind of Push the jacket up into the connector to make sure you've got a good place to snap the strain relief on. Like that. So now that's holding the cable well, and the only thing left. Put the screw in, except now that it's strain relieved connector and the housing a little off. And that's it. So if I did everything right, that should be a good RJ21 cable to use on something somewhere down the line. A few feet 